There seems to be a lot of confusion as to why I do this. It is kind of an odd practice, but it makes sense and it works for me. And it's also kind of fun to watch as it happens. Main reason though for me is that dissolved CO2, once it's released, helps with clarification. The faster that happens, the sooner I can bottle it. Preventing bottle bombs is the number one reason why you don't want to rely on your airlock activity as an indicator of whether or not your mead is done fermenting. Lately, a lot of creators have stepped up to educate new mead makers on this point. We just want to keep you safe. But besides bottle bombs, there's another reason why you might not want to rely on airlock activity. Using a hydrometer, I was able to determine that this mead was done fermenting about a month ago. Even though it was done fermenting, there was still a little bit of air bubbles coming out of the airlock. That's because not all of the CO2 that's produced during fermentation gets released into the atmosphere. A bunch of it stays dissolved in the mead and is slowly released over time. Using my small vacuum pump, I'm able to speed up this process and you can see all that dissolved CO2 coming out. This pump was on for a good eight minutes before the bubbles started slowing down. Now if I was just counting bubbles in the airlock, I would have been waiting a long time before I bottled this. Just saying, get a hydrometer.